Megyn Kelly speaks about it. So I want to see what Megyn Kelly has to say about the whole Russell Brand situation because interested to see if she has the same kind of conspiratory take that all these guys from that space of politics have. Ben Shapiro, all those guys are basically saying it's one big effort from mainstream media to take Russell Brand down because he was speaking truth and they don't like that and he was anti-COVID and blah, 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 which is fucking insane. But let's hear what Megyn Kelly has to say. I'm interested to see what she thinks about this whole thing. Over to you, Megan. Over to you. Well, you guys, I realize that the knee-jerk instinct now by so many is Russell Brand is wrongly accused. These women are all liars. I'm sorry, this is extremely detailed. And in the case of the other woman, there's an actual set of medical records after she went to a rape crisis center the day of the alleged encounter, plus apologetic begging for forgiveness text from Russell Brand. Wow. I was not expecting that take from Megyn Kelly. I thought she was going to do the whole conspiracy thing. Fair play. Could you please for a second stay open-minded to the possibility that the women are telling the truth? We don't need to so overcorrect from the Me Too movement that every woman gets completely disregarded and called a liar when she finds the guts to come forward and make an allegation. They may be telling the truth. It's worth investigating. We don't need to knee-jerk condemn him, and we don't need to knee-jerk condemn them. I'm just pissed because what I've seen is like a rash of guys coming out to be like, it's bullshit. You don't know whether it's bullshit or not. Did you read the report of this woman? Did you read the rape, the alleged rape details? Did you read the text message that she has from Russell Brand begging for forgiveness? There's at least enough for us to want more facts. That's true. That's all I say. All I say, <laughs> people say she's an Ozempic. <laughs> all I say is that I'm just confused why the Russell Brand thing seems to have attracted so many conspiratorial guys. I don't get it. I understand he was always a bit anti-establishment anyway, but running to the conspiracy thing, when he already has a history, even to him, he even says himself, there were points in his life where he may have not treated people well. It's not without reason that the things that people are saying about him may be true. Now, I don't think you should lose your entire career based off of allegations. That's what I don't like. I think everybody is innocent until proven guilty, in my opinion. Nowadays, we live in a society that is more guilty until proven innocent. But I think we all deserve innocence first. We all deserve that, right? But let's use our common sense brains here. Is it likely that the timing is really weird and that it came out now? Is that true? Can you say that? Yes, the timing is weird. Do we think the journalists care about the victims? Of course they don't. Has Russell Brand maybe run out of his usefulness to whoever was basically propping him up and protecting him? Probably yes. Was Russell Brand maybe guilty of some of the crimes he's been accused of? Probably yes also. They can all be right at the same time. It doesn't mean because it's a conspiracy that he didn't do it. That's the thing that doesn't work in my head. These guys saying it's a conspiracy. Let me say I agree with you. I say I agree with you. I think it is a conspiracy, right? To bring this guy down. But it doesn't mean you didn't do it because what they're basically trying to say is that if you change, if you do something heinous 20 years ago and somebody then decides to talk about it 20 years later, that is somehow a bad thing. They're not allowed to talk about it anymore. They're not allowed to share their experience or they're not allowed to kind of try and prosecute you 20 years later down the line because you've changed. No, it doesn't change. You did, you did the bad thing. You never went to seek forgiveness from them. You never went to fucking own up to the mistakes. You tried to ignore it like it didn't happen. And then it obviously came to bite you in the ass. It kind of is what it is. It's a good thing that he changed. It's a good thing he's a different person because so far we haven't heard any account from Russell Brand from like 2013 onwards. It seems like from 2013, he made a big change to his life. And the version of Russell Brand that we see now on TV, on social media is who he kind of wants to be. Congratulations. Pat yourself on the back. It doesn't change all the people that you may have hurt in the past. I'm sorry. That's the punishment of being a dickhead. If you be a dickhead, you're going to leave a trail full of people who are hurt by you, who are then going to see you thriving and succeeding and be like, you know what? That's pissing me off. I'm going to come and fucking take you down again. You know, that's what I'm saying in this regard. So he may be innocent. Cool. But jumping to the defense of him and then blaming the victims and stuff is just weird, bro. It's just so weird. Like, it really is. I'm honestly 
the, the thing for me that's the most annoying thing about this personally for me isn't Russell Brand I always say monsters will always exist in our world we will always have people who are evil monstrous despicable people who will do heinous things to you always the thing that we can do to combat evilness is to fucking call it out when we see it is to hold people accountable and the thing that fucking hurts me the most about the Russell Brand thing, everybody enabled him. Everybody turned a blind eye, made excuses for it, because at the time, Russell was hotter than fucking fish grease. He was the number one dude in the fucking UK, probably in parts of Europe and the world. People were loving that guy. And they all turned a blind eye, and then all those women had to suffer the consequences of it. So the problem I have is that they're all trying to label it all on Russell, which obviously he did it. He's the one that did the thing. But all those other motherfuckers, like the agents and the radio managers and shit and all the talent bookers and shit who knew about all this stuff and swept it under the rug they're gonna get away with it they're gonna get no punishment that's the problem i have with it that's the main issue yes he is a fucking monster but also get the other people it's like the harvey weinstein thing do you remember the harvey weinstein thing the thing that fucking upset me most about the harvey weinstein documentary there was a woman on the documentary who was like harvey weinstein tried to fuck me but i said no and i made it very clear that that's not what i want to do but then he asked me if i have any friends and I recommended him to some of my friends. Imagine how dis imagine how evil of a person you have to be to say no to Harvey Weinstein because he's a monster and what he's doing, but then offer up your friends as a fucking sacrifice in your place. That's the despicable part for me. That's the heinous part for me. All those people in the industry that turned a blind eye because how rich and powerful all these people were. So yes, go and attack, you know, say attack Russell for what he did, you know, whatever, whatever but keep your eye on these motherfuckers that enabled him that's the main problem but this whole fucking this whole fucking um <laughs> fuck you i got turning into crefo dollar yeah and in order for, and if, if you want me to keep if you want to hear this message if you want to hear this message you have to send me one dollar why so i can buy myself a private jet <laughs> and spread the message <laughs> because god doesn't want me to god doesn't want me to fly coach go want me to fly in a private jet because in coach that's where all the dear devils are the devils fly in fucking coach i have to have a private jet so i can get from point a to point b right to go spread the word <laughs> you said that you don't like to fly commercial because you don't want to get into a tube with a bunch of demons do you really believe that human beings are demons no i do not and don't you ever say i did I don't get the conspiracy thing, man. I don't get it. I don't get it, man. All these guys running to his defense because for the conspiracy thing, I don't understand it. Like, Russell Brand isn't that important like to have all these people conspiring against him to bring him down. I don't like the fucking coordinated effort that happens when you do get accused. You know, you lose your agent. You lose your monetization. All this stuff is a bit gross. Even the monetization wording, I didn't like it. If you're going to take off his monetization from YouTube, say like, oh, the brands and the advertisers are going to pull away and then we have to change this call. But YouTube made it sound like they are judging him from the allegations alone. That's horrible, right? You shouldn't lose your entire li livelihood because of allegations. That's insane. But the guy is going out there saying, oh, he's fucking, it's a, it's a conspiracy to take him down. Like a conspiracy for Russell Brand. Are you for real? Like, come on, man. The ego in these guys is fucking insane. The God complex, like, I am Jesus. Like, fuck off, bro. You're not Jesus. Jesus got persecuted too. Yeah, Jesus didn't rape people, did he? That probably might help as well. But hey, what do I know?